Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I feel like doing a bloom. Just plain and simple. <laughs> I've got some colors mixed up. I want to uh, uh, do something a little bit more darker and uh, I've been testing out, not testing out, but kind of been experimenting how I mix up uh, pigments. Cause normally I just, you know, put it in the pouring medium and I'm trying, I've been trying out a new way uh, with an older PM pouring medium that I used to use. So, and, and I'll talk more about that in the video but uh so that's that's what i feel like doing today but first before we get started i did want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers sherry asbury hi sherry i see you out there watching thank you so much for the support i really do appreciate it so with that let's go have some fun all right for this piece we're going to do today i have got the uh can the uh hexagon canvas this is 12 inches across by 10 and a quarter. <laughs> I just measured it before. But these I get at Hobby Lobby. This is actually the medium size. Uh, if you are familiar with Hobby Lobby, both in store and online, you can get these. Um, but they don't have the dimension, the correct dimension. So that's why I always give it to you so you can kind of gauge. But uh, it's small, medium, large. This is the medium size. I did a few videos back. I did do a large size. That was, that was about 15, 15 and some change, but I, I only had one. I want to get some more to try the bigger ones, but I do like these hexagon canvases. So moving on, I am going to show you the paints really quick. And then we will talk about the pillow. And I have got the first paint is Joe Sonia Black Umber. I have a lot of it mixed up because I'm going to put kind of a, a base on a base, but this is the consistency of it. And this is mixed with the uh, Valspar Verithane PM that I've been using lately. All right. So my next color is Gold Rush. This is a Paraj Posse. That's what it looks like in the jar. And here's the consistency of that. This one is also mixed with the Valspar Verithane. I'm telling you this because I have a couple of pigments uh, in this uh, that I'm going to show you right now, actually, that I've, I've been experimenting. If any of you know, I like to experiment. <laughs> uh, I've been experiment, experimenting with an older pouring medium that I first started using uh, when I started uh, the blooms. And, and I'll show you that as well. But so the next one is the pigment King of Pain. And it's a this is what it looks like. It's it's I mean it's it's a Payne's gray pigment. It does have a shimmer to it, kind of like a silvery undertone. Really beautiful. But I did mix this up and then the other pigment I'm gonna show you. Uh, I mixed it with the Dutch Boy, the cabinet door and trim. I started off doing the blooms with this, with this and the Glidden that you've seen me use uh, in probably some of the first videos I've done on this channel were using the Dutch Boy and then also the Glidden. And unfortunately, this you can only get in the Midwest at the Menards hardware stores. So if you happen to be in the Midwest and want to try it, I highly recommend it. It's one of my absolute favorites. Uh, it's similar to the Bear 8300 that you can get at Home Depot, but it is thinner. And I do have a mixing video where I do mix up this with the Joe Sonia. So if you're wanting to play around with it, I, I didn't actually use a ratio for these two pigments. Um, but I would start at about, probably about two to one because it is a little bit thicker. And if you need to add more uh, of the base, you can add it in. All right, my, moving on. My next pigment is watermelon. And again, I... Uh, this is also the Dutch boy with the uh, Joe Sonia, and here's the consistency. I mean, it just makes a really nice consistency. And then finally, I have Purple Raspberry, which is another Paraj Posse paint. That's what it looks like in the jar. And then this is what it looks like mixed up. I It did mix up. I, I've had it mixed up for a little a little while. I got I got a chunk in there. Um, I had it mixed up for a little while and it got thick on me. So I added a little bit of GAC in here, GAC 800, but, uh, just to thin it ever so slightly. But this is, uh, the Valspar Verithane 
and all, everything I'm using today will be at the beginning of this video in snapshots like I always do as well as in the description box down below in case you mix it uh, you miss it while I'm talking about it here now my pillow is the Glidden Premium in Satin and we're gonna load it up probably about that much should do I've been having good luck just putting a circle right in the middle and kind of spreading it out a little and then usually you know when I'm doing blooms and then just adding more pillow around I'm finding that that's working a pretty well for me it's tri it's always been trial and error about how much pillow to put down uh, how thick how thin all that good stuff but this seems to work really well all right and my cell activator today i may as well just show you that now as well this is the uh, australian floetrol amsterdam titanium white mixed at four to one all right now that i've shown you all that let's get this sh let's get this show on the road i'm going to put down the black umber first and what i want to do is i want to put a nice healthy pile because I kind of want it to be the background. I know I have a white pillow, but a little trick here is if you put a lot of a different base on here, it's going to come up in the background. I want kind of a more dark darkness to my painting today. And I'm going to add the gold rush next. I'm going to try and just keep it all here a little bit more right there but that should be plenty and now we've got the king of pain pigments going down gosh this is just gorgeous And then watermelon. I really like the contrast. Oops. It's good. Get that little blob. I don't want that on there. I'm being neat today. <laughs> Sometimes I'm messy and colors get everywhere, but today I'm being neat. And then this last one was the um, the purple raspberry. Oh boy, this <laughs> I am putting a lot of paint on here. I got to get my lungs ready since we're doing a bloom. Did I say we're doing a bloom? We're doing a bloom. <laughs> activator down just a little bit more I think we're good <clears throat> all right here we go little lightheaded. Sometimes I find if you're when you're blowing with your straw and you kind of blow and pull back, it kind of brings more of the cells out without actually pushing down, you know, so you're not blowing to the canvas. 
And that's also, uh, take note, I mean, you can do that as you're blowing out with your mouth too. But that blew out really nice. All right, I am super excited to see what this is gonna. Let's, let's put some things in here, shall we? While this kind of fills in. Some of this will come off, but I do like when I see little embellishments hanging on for dear life on the edges. <laughs> Those are fun to me too. Sometimes if I have a big messy area, I'll just kind of come in and try and break up the color just a little. I mean, you can, there's no rules. You can do whatever you want. This is your art. I think that looks really, really cool. I am so excited to spin this out. I'm going to add just, actually, I might not add too much pillow because there is enough here. Um, I might just add just a touch here on the edges and then I will meet you over at the spinner box. Alrighty. Here is what this looks like before we start spinning it out. And I've got it in a pretty good position. I just, I barely added any pillow. I mostly just kind of uh, brought the white paint to the edges here. I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start spinning and we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> Wow. Whew. Yeah. Definitely need to get more paint off though. So I'm going to go a little bit harder on my spin. I'm going to go this way. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. Look at that. That has got to be one of the coolest things I have ever seen. These colors together. Who knew? I was just having fun putting colors together. Wow. All right, I'm gonna do just a baby spin going this way because I don't have a lot of movement. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that was a pretty quick spin. I mean, it is kind of chaotic in all of its cells, but also just the shimmer and the colors I just love how they mix together. And the spinner is kind of like, it's, I, I don't want to move it <laughs> because the spinner is an extension of it. <laughs> oh, wow. That is so cool. All right. I'm done. I'm leaving it alone. Wow. Yeah. All right. Here is what this one looks like. I'm going to get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of this guy. All right, here is the flyover. Holy cow. <laughs> this is so cool. I mean, it's so electric with the, the cell activator. It's super lightning. I mean, and all these, all these sparkles in here too are just gorgeous. I love the, 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 uh, the king of pain in the watermelon right there. I like how they contrast. I mean, this almost, I don't even know what to call this piece. It's like, I don't want to say fire and brimstone because that kind of means death and doom. But it just, just has like this 
fire elemental elementalness to it behind it when you look at it as a whole. So I am so excited to see how this dries. I will be back once it's dried to give you the dried results. And I'm back to show you the bloom that you just saw me do and it dried beautifully. It's it's almost dark and smoldery a little bit. Um, I'm not really quite sure what I want to call it yet, but here, let me try to get that spotlight out. Here it is kind of as a whole before I start moving it around. And I mean, there's so much shimmer in this. It's I'm definitely gonna resin this piece. But what I like is the white cell activator kind of, I mean, it looks like a lightning storm. It's, it's so in your face, but then when you get in behind there and see all the color, it almost looks like it's just smoldering from within. <laughs> That's what, that's what I keep going back to is smoldering. I, I don't want to really call it a fire because it's not fire colors, but it's kind of just smoldering back there. I, I've got an image in my head, but I'm maybe not describing it really well, but some of you might catch on to what I'm talking about. But this piece just, I mean, it's just gorgeous. I absolutely love this piece. And, and like I said, I'm definitely going to resin the, this. I got to get these shimmers out. So so there's that piece. Uh, let me know what you what you think in the comments below uh, about this bloom, these colors. Have you tried any similar colors? I'd love to hear all your thoughts, all your comments. I, I try to answer every single one of them. I may not be able to get to them right away, but I try to do it within, you know, the day. So with that, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I had so much fun putting it together. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.